What's up, y'all? This is Daniel. And this your boy, Damo. Oh, oh. And this your boy, Levante. And this the Born Leader Wrestling Podcast. Nigga Tony Khan claims that 2024 would be stop, AEW's stop fucking, best year Stop, so far. cut that shit now because you know you should never report that. How Bush, you know? That bullshit. No, no, he, didn't, he said it'd be, they, they, he said it, it's going to be their best year so yeah, far. Now, so it's competition within itself. He's not yeah, saying yeah. it's going to be better than yeah, WWE. WWE. And yeah. that could be true. Yeah. It could be the best year no, that they had so far. AEW is only, what, five the, years old, right? The other two, three years was trash. So yeah. this could be the best one. Yeah. I give him that. He got Mercedes right now. Um, MJF is back. Lana, a.k.a. CJ Perry. Parker. Oh, it's Perry. Oh, boy. Uh, she of. said that she she confirms that she's out of AEW. We kind of figured that. Ooh. Imagine if she come back to WWE. I hope we should come back with um, Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley as a manager. <laughs> That'll be tight. Bobby Lashley as a manager, and then um, Bobby Lashley and her versus um, um, what's the nigga? Final the final. Um, oh 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 oh! Uh, Karen, Karen, Karen Cross and his girl, and Scarlett. Yeah, Scarlett. Oh, yeah. yeah, hell yeah. Um, Ric Flair partnership with AEW. The whole injury ended. Stop fucking time. Woo! Ric Flair said he hasn't talked to Tony. Tony Khan hasn't contacted him since um, Sting retirement match. <laughs> they only use that nigga for the Sting match. Hey, you gave me a bag, right? This is a crazy thing. So, Tony Khan never paid. Um, he never paid um, Sting. I mean, he never paid Ric Flair. The deal was the energy drink was like promoting, was promoted through AEW. Like a prime. So, like, yeah, but he didn't get a bag for it. It's like, all right. Because even when I went to AEW, they had the Wu drink. I should have bought one. Yeah. They had the, like, you could buy it there. It was, like, everywhere around the mm-hmm. arena and all that. So, that was a deal. He never got a bag. He had an interview um, with one of them podcasters. Uh, so, he never really got a bag for that. That's crazy. Uh, Chris Jericho was put on blast for using toys as weapons. And um, AEW Dynamite Street Fight. Uh, it was a Twitter account. I actually got his name. It's called AEW Awful Wrestling. So it's AEW, but it's spelled awful and then wrestling, which is creative. Uh, <laughs> he tweeted out Chris Jericho used plastic. It was a plastic um, shoehorn during a match with Samoa Joe. This is not a nigga news, but did y'all know Samoa Joe was a, a, a sweet tooth on that? Um, oh, Pulse. Oh, the sweet tooth um, character. Oh, 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 the twisted metal. On the new twisted metal. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't I know, know that, that either. I know that one. Yeah. So they rent him off. They did the street match with yeah. Chris Jericho and rent him off so he can start filming season two. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, he only, he only gonna be there for a minute though. He only had like two episodes, but I knew he was uh, the, the one character. on the. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's tight. I never knew that. That's crazy. Um, WWE news. <laughs> Gable Stevenson said that he 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 told he told. Kurt Angle, he wanted to surpass him, bro. You didn't even get past. <laughs> Who the fuck get, is that? The black nigga that didn't even get past. <laughs> I don't even know why we saying this shit, bro. That the nigga didn't. Fuck out of here. No, fuck no, that. He didn't get past no. on the grill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck the fuck is that? Here, <laughs> Scary time, nigga. Hold on. Scary. <laughs> what the fuck? Now this nigga want to use this shit. I don't even shit. know how to switch this shit to the other shit. Oh man, that, that that's crazy saying that. Yo, yo, he was nowhere near. How nowhere near. Uh, uh, Ric Flair said that he's not happy. Ric Flair's not happy with ESPN. Oh, you're right. Scrubbing him from the um, the list. I guess they had like some kind of athlete list. Um, he wasn't on top 100. <laughs> like nigga, you Bye. passed your Bing prom. Bing bong. That's what you do, a bing bong. <laughs> Um, let me see. <laughs> That's funny. It went to even utter those fucking words. Man. Exactly. Oh yeah, do it. Do, yeah, this. No, this one is a. Uh, <laughs> this one uh, deserve a flex bomb. This for your boy. Ooh. Top, um, dollar. top dollars claim that WWE doors is still open. Shut your fat ass up. <laughs> this flex bomb is a good bomb. Though. Hold on. Hold on. That door, that door is fucking closed. <laughs> WWE, that's the motherfucker forbidden doors you ever had. Hold on. <laughs> you fat motherfucker. I'm dropping bombs all over the motherfucking place. <laughs> Snake. 
Uh, I was just asleep. I ain't gonna hold you. I just woke up. Gunther admits that Rice, the <laughs> the Wyatt Six is not his taste. That nigga kind of shitted on. That's that why that nigga's a bitch. Well, it's still developing, so we got to see what the fuck will happen with this shit. What? No, that nigga, he can't do anything. That nigga can't have his own take? Yeah. No, he what can't. What the fuck? No. <laughs> he no. sound crazy. No, is the fucking most boringest motherfucker ever. Where the fuck is Louis the Kaiser at? He, he hurt. He, he's injured. Well, well then, then Gunther should be too. Nah, Gunther better, way better. What the fuck he ain't? At what? Wrestling. What the yeah. fuck he do besides shopping? He do everything. Power bomb. Yeah. He do fucking Boston Crabs. Boston Crabs. He does the fucking the uh Sleeper. So listen thing is he the, goes off the top rope and yeah. do that uh, the splash. The, the, the whack ass splash. No, the um the, the drop kick. Smash. Oh, he do a the drop little, kick? Yeah, that Tyrannosaurus drop kick yeah. shit. Yeah, it look like a fucking Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, this nigga is the fucking modern day Kevin Ash. Get the fuck out of here. Nah, this nigga, nah, you nah, sound nah, crazy. Nah, you crazy. don't sound fucking crazy. You just throw that's names crazy. out there. Yeah, that's nigga, crazy. Throw it's a modern crazy. day fucking hey, Unk, Kevin Ash. Unk crazy. All right, Unk. Hey, come on, yeah, Unk. For sure. Yeah, Unk. This nigga power bomb, power bomb, power bomb. What else he do? Chop, chop, chop. Nigga, Kevin Ash. And he kick out RKL five times, nigga. Mm, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Who uh, right? Kevin Ash? Kevin Ash kick out fucking shit seven times, too. Nah, Kevin, that got poked, boss. <laughs> Yo. That was crazy. That was wild. Wild is over crazy. <laughs> Way over. But it happened. Uh, potential location for WWE Survivor Series revealed. Well, boom, boom, potential. Boom. Hit that. Los Angeles, California at the new arena. West side. Definitely going. What? Hey, look, we gonna go. We gonna pull up there, that motherfucker. Like, 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 like. Point leads in this motherfucker building, bitch. Real talk. No, we gonna pull up in that motherfucker for sure, for sure, because that's gonna feed them. That's gonna kill two stones. Clippers ain't got no team right now, so fuck them. Um, what you mean? They ain't, they, Paul George gone. So uh. <laughs> they ain't got no team. So we're gonna be uh, first time we see into it. Into it. Pause. Dome. There's so much shit around there. That shit Man. is yo, so fucking yo, crowded right there. In the right fucking five-mile radius, nigga, you see everything. Nigga, Man. Hollywood Casino, nigga, SoFi, Hollywood Kia, <laughs> into it. Crazy. Yeah. Then you got the hoes. <laughs> so you can see AEW, WrestleMania, and SummerSlam. And, 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 and Kendrick. He'll pop out. <laughs> <laughs> you can get a concert in the yeah. fucking, fucking rest But no, we, we, we'll be there, though. We, we always figure it out. We might not sit in the same section or take pictures together. <laughs> <laughs> we got to fucking walk and talk to the nigga with love. <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Sometimes you got to pop out and show <laughs> No, but if, if, if it does happen, because it's not official yet, right? Not official, no. But once but, it get official. But WWE, I'm, they love to do, like, first arena yeah. shit, so. Something new, they they jump Hopefully, on. As of right now, you can book. As of right now, you can book Wild and Out. For mm-hmm. real. As of right now, the t- only tickets is on sale right now. So at into it is Wild and Out. So you can book Wild. <laughs> yeah, but they they like they like to be the first to sell shit out. Yeah, they supposed yeah. to be ahead of Wild and Out. And if they do come out here, I got my Bianca Belair picture last year. Wrestle with well, the year before WrestleMania. I need a Liv Morgan picture. Look at me too. I need that Liv picture. <laughs> me. Three. <laughs> I need to find out where Liv gonna be at. The big three. That's the only big D. <laughs> and I'm pulling up at five in the I'm morning the like I did, nigga. Bianca. <laughs> I'm the third nigga. <laughs> I'm the third nigga. <laughs> I'm the third nigga. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, at least you own it. <laughs> nigga, I'm J. Cole's bitch. <laughs> at least you own it. Hey, but no, on some real shit, um, if it's out here for sure, I'll probably be there early in the morning to see the whole set up and everything. <laughs> see the whole that too. That too. I'm I'm you know I'm gonna I'm gonna get one of them security guards and let nigga get. And I'm not even a fan of fucking Survivor series, but it's gonna be all right. Yo, hey, yo nigga, that's Sometimes it. you gotta pop out and show yeah, me. I'm not Sometimes that's like you gotta pop out and show me. Hey, hey, we, 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 we can low key rent a splinter van and have like this sh- like a <laughs> R V. Yeah. yeah. Be out there motherfucker at nine in the morning. Oh yeah, nigga. Uh, <laughs> do the fucking uh what is she called? Tailgate. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. we were tailgating. Nigga, do a podcast, nigga, all day. All day. Nigga, pull up. Welcome to the Born Leader Rest of Podcast. In the, hey, in look. The no, no, no. So then, we, we might have that, we might have that happen. Yeah. yeah. Um, Betty. Betty, my ass. <laughs> on an interview. Shout out to um, um, 
Cody Rhodes. He got that new show. Where they do the interview on the bus. She the first. She was the first guest. So what do you want to talk about? It's like him on his bus, and they just have interviews, drinking tequila. Um, Bailey says she was worried about being the first, the female John Cena before turning heel, because she had the whole hugger gimmick. Yeah, I could. I, a lot of people were saying that too. No, like, nobody want to be John. He had the side, everybody the side ponytail and shit. Um, everybody see John Cena as a bitch ass nigga. Nobody wants. Yeah, that. but like nobody see John Cena as a bitch ass nigga. He was a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> but that that ponytail nigga, yo, that day. That's how she won her championships with that shit. And the crazy thing, she Ew. did. She did a. She said that um, her first, not her first, but one of her matches, she came out. She said like she forgot to do her hair or some shit happened. Yeah. Um, and she had the side ponytail, and she took it out uh, during the match, and she like shook her hair like took the ponytail, out. and she said she went back behind the curtains, and after that, Miss McMahon, Miss McMahon said. Don't ever take your ponytail out. And then that <laughs> shit fucking went crazy. Hey. Little girls start wearing yeah. they fucking ponytails Yo, to the side. Look at Bianca. No. <laughs> no, no. For, no, for like no, before that. No, that girl Izzy. Izzy, she was like her number one fan, and she used to sit like um front row. Uh-huh. And she had her little ponytail yeah. like that. Now she grown up to be her own. She like in the independence now. See? But see, oh, yeah, you talking about the but, black girl. But, no, no, she white. This little white girl that no, was black girl, she she. Hey, shout out, like, but ba- hey, look, shout out to Bailey because she do be putting on uh, independent wrestler. Because the old girl, I followed that she wore the shirt the last time uh, WrestleMania when she won the championship. Uh, I can't remember her name, but she said she used to park her cars. Now she, a uh, uh, wrestler, and she wore a shirt at WrestleMania. Influenced by, by hey, superstars. that one girl, she got a shout out by um, 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 Red Velvet. She Red Velvet like co-signer said she the next one up. Remember that one girl you met at WrestleMania? And then um, she got mad at you because you told her that uh, oh, she spelled Ingram wrong. She spelled yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> she uh, she started doing independent wrestling. Though, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I still I, I still I still don't remember her name, but I remember her face. Yeah, I remember her because I went through when when uh, Red Velvet tagged her. I went through her page because her her profile pictures are cute, and I seen that WrestleMania picture. I'm like, oh, that's an old girl that spelled Ingram wrong. That blocked me. <laughs> no, I think. Did she block her? She just deleted the she comment. Did, she, she deleted the comment or she don't follow me. Oh, I'm following. <laughs> like, damn, you trying to help her out. Oh, she's not here, Loki. <laughs> 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 no, but um, back to back to, to the Bailey shit mm-hmm. though. Um, Bailey, I don't know. I never heard John say it before because I ain't seen Bailey before this last run, right? Y'all wouldn't talk about Bailey ass back then, was y'all? No, Bailey just started. No, nah, like, y'all wasn't sick. Bailey just, just no. A, I know when she rise. got it. No, no, I know when she got it. She got it when she returned with damage control at um, yeah. Wrestle, yeah. was that WrestleMania. When, when or the no, was down. Yeah, that yeah. white. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she had the white when yeah. she got injured. She with came the back. Little, little shoe on the side. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. when they came back and, ju- and tried to jump Bianca. Yeah. I forgot. I think that was SummerSlam. Yeah. That was SummerSlam. Yeah, yeah. but and then the ass was introduced. That's when she won it from. Uh, no, no, that's when she just came back. Won it from Becky. Becky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. But. Bailey motion now is is, is is completely different than she was than what, what it was like from what I understand like that Nigga. that side she needs point. to oh no tag and team I, with Naomi be the ass team <laughs> shut up <laughs> <laughs> no but what's the girl they they made a TV show off of the, the side ponytail they made a TV show on on I don't know if it was Nickelodeon I I Carly wherever that show was uh-huh. the little girl got the side ponytail the Bailey shit I don't even know that oh, yeah she yeah, got the see. Side. Yeah, you talk to niggas, we ain't got no kids. So we don't know about no <laughs> shit. Nigga, you go on Nickelodeon, nigga, yo. It's like, I think it's iCarly. She, uh, she had the side ponytail. Nah, it's... Uh, uh, Drake trying to holler at her. Wow. This nigga went there. <laughs> That's crazy. That Logan, Logan Paul and why he doesn't defend <laughs> his U.S. title championship. Logan Paul said, my mom always said, son... You can't get an STD if you don't if you don't get tested, and you can't lose a title if you don't defend it. That nigga okay, funny. What? I don't understand that shit so at all. They asked him why you don't defend your U.S. title, yeah. and he said, "My mom always said you can't get an STD if you don't get tested, and you can't lose a title if you don't defend it. You can't get an STD if you don't get tested because you don't know you have it. So technically." Like you said, that's, that's it's wordplay. No, 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 it's not. not. No, not because that shit burning, nigga. You nigga. know what's up. <laughs> y'all, you, you, you know, looking into it. Nah, 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 nah. He says it's y'all shot. looking into it. It's, yeah. It was supposed to be a joke. And y'all just nah, breaking nah, it. Nah, nah, nah. Y'all yo, breaking it down way, like a Kendrick video, like. Yo, yo, hold on. It had to go that far. Hey, 
if I say something stupid, you'll say it's stupid, right? <laughs> I was you, dumb. That shit is dumb as fuck. You didn't have bars? I thought that was bars. Mm-hmm. Bars. Nigga, that nigga got COVID. <laughs> nah, he got nigga. That shit, but the, the worst bar, nigga, you got somebody pregnant. No, no, no. He got something from getting. Yeah, yeah, he might have the uh. Oh. You know, the, uh the uh. My bad. I tore. <laughs> Here, take this. Uh, Rick Flair has Here no up. issue with John Cena breaking his world record. Yeah, John Cena like the like the. Only guy that when the fuck did he become that nigga? Because when that time where it wasn't that nigga, and he well, he he became that nigga. I think he is he so the it's best not, nigga in the worst. Ever. No, no, he 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 yeah. became that nigga because he stepped up with like merch sale, like he the business nigga. Yeah. John mm-hmm. Cena was selling Yo, shit. And that guy, and, wait, no, wait, 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 wait before on. you shit on him. Can I build it up before you shit on him? Yeah, that shit. Up. I'm about to break the wall so, down. When during that era, during that era, nobody else was there. The Rock left, Austin left, blah blah blah. Yeah. Right? It was Cena. Cena took that company and made a gang of money with nigga merchandise, selling out buildings, all that shit. He put the he basically put the shit on his back. No days off. Mm-hmm. Make a wish. All he number one he make a wish person. In. Nobody else in the world got more make a wish than John Cena. Yeah. So he put the work in, and that's why. People say John. Not people don't look at John Cena and say his wrestling. He look at him like what he did for the business, as in the money wise. For sure. Yeah. So that's what he. I'm not saying he's the greatest wrestler, but you got to respect him. That it nigga the took the whole for that time. Nigga took the whole business and made a gang of money. Yeah. Yeah. The same reason you could say well, Austin. Austin wasn't a big wrestler. But and he, but he took, that but business. he took the business, yeah. nigga, and so crazy numbers. And also with John Cena, what he did was, and it was a PG took, era. He but, took opportunities where he won championships and he helped superstars to potentially get over. He didn't have to do that shit. Can I, but can I say something? Oh, like we, we we always go to Austin as far as the attitude, right? And when we go to Austin with the attitude, this is how I learned the podcast. Mm. Slow it down. And talk different so people will understand what she's talking about. <laughs> nigga, she goes. Um, but when you talk to Austin, you talk about the attitude, you talk about the change and different stuff. Um, uh, coming next week on uh, Born Leaves Wrestling Shop is I'm the greatest and the worst ever t shirts. That's a good one because that's what John Cena was, was the greatest and the worst ever. No, that wasn't the worst ever. The worst ever was like 95 when Bret Hart had the title and Diesel. And that's your that show hero. Get the fuck not my out hero. Of here. That's your hero. It's not my hero. You're a Canadian. Not Michael Get the fuck out of here. So that was the worst ever. The like PG era was the worst yeah, ever. But, but, but I mean, even, the roof okay, was but aggressive. Even, attitude even wasn't the worst with that era. statement, you got to think about it. You became the number one guy in the time where you thought, well, that you said that it was the worst time, right? And you stood out. Everybody right? started watching wrestling in, in, in 2004. Everybody crazy. Stopped watching. When did you stop? I'm not everybody. Okay, when yeah. did you stop? After that attitude there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I I gave it leeway, nigga. You cut off. That's my what I'm yeah, but but, but this, I'm not but everybody. But guess what? That's what I'm saying. The number's still kids. there. The kids watching wrestling. The numbers cool. are still yeah. there. We, we that's cool. Work. I got a five year old right yeah. there and say I'm John Cena. Exactly. So his impact was that strong. It's cool. Cause think about it. That's cool. How cool it was too. So, exactly. So thank you. You to compare Hulk Hogan to John Cena. Do we? Do we? Do we? Uh, do I put we them in the same because they like me. I don't think Hulk Hogan was a good wrestler, but he but, sold. But this, is, this is crazy. This is crazy to me hearing you say this because you go back and say Mr. Perfect was a great wrestler. He That's was. different, though, but compared to but he Hulk wasn't Hogan? impactful like he a was. like a Hulk Who Hogan. Was better. Mr. Perfect was better, but he didn't sell more than Hulk yeah. Hogan. So it's, it sales. So you oh, so you drinking me? I got you. Hmm? It's Drake's. I got you. Huh? He said it's based based off of sales. I'm saying that. I'm saying John. I'm saying it's a business. I'm saying John Cena. Yes, I'm saying it's a business. Clearly, John Cena is based off of sales. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I clearly said before I started talking about him, he wasn't a good wrestler at all. But he took the business and made a gang of money for the business. Trash. So if you if I if I came and I if I worked for you. And I made you a gang of fucking money. Am I trash to you? No. No, you're you're a fucking cow. So you're making fun of my weight. 
look, think about this. Nigga, we damn near the same fucking size. What the fuck are you talking about? You had, you had Eddie Guerrero, right, with the Latino heat shit, like mm-hmm. Lightning still, right? You got John Cena with his loyalty, respect shit, right? John Cena was still not that shit. Yeah. John, he white. No, it's <laughs> this nigga stupid. He was the ultimate baby face at that time. John Cena sold more records than a lot of people, a lot of your favorite rest, rappers. He ain't sell more records than me. <laughs> <laughs> he crazy. That nigga went platinum. I did too. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, he was in that Target. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was, I was, I was on Amazon. <laughs> uh, uh, let me see. Rick Flair says he haven't spoken to the Stone Cold in years. Over a year, makes sense. And he said he used, but he said he used to talk to Stone Cold at least once or twice a week. But I mean, I don't think I don't I mean, see why I mean, he happens. and his feelings. She How about what? Rick Flair just he Rick Flair always in his feelings. Yeah. I think Stone Cold needs to like, but, but Stone, Stone Cold, Cold needs to separate. Like niggas might be busy. Yeah. What the fuck? No, but see, but like Stone Cold, he kind of separate himself from wrestling, even at his um, Hall of Fame. How he was saying, like, you know, I'm done wrestling. Like, he was trying to separate himself from that shit. Even now. He said, I retire. I'm no longer doing no wrestling shit. It's so, a, he it's, always been trying to separate himself from, from wrestling. But, see, it's a different. So, I mean, like, to be honest with you, I guess I'm scared for, like, some sports shit or whatever. But you have to at a certain point. When you can't play no more, nigga, it's over. Like, nigga, if I keep going back and indulging. I mean, he'll come back. He's just bad. got to be there. Like the bag wasn't there for WrestleMania. Nope, it better nope, be I, enough. That's what I said. It wasn't there enough for him for WrestleMania. So they put the taker. They gave him taker. That was what have been Stone Cold spot. Yeah. But that nigga said, now nah, the bag ain't big enough. Nigga, I just got a bag from last year. Yeah, but, no, but, but think about this. I don't care if you offer him 100000 Let's say 100000 right? To come out, get one stunner, maybe two, and walk back out. That's an easy bag right there. You you say that. I don't think it's enough. You, you fail to realize that that entertainment bag is different than a regular work bag. Yeah, but I'm talking about that entertainment as, bag in tax 50%. But bro. see, but I think Stone Cold, he pay attention to the story. He's like, why would I go out there for it? I'm, I had nothing to do with this shit. This story don't have nothing to do with me. That's why he didn't take the bag. I don't. Th- I think. I think Stone Cold got so much. I mean, he just got so much money. He don't have to if he no, don't want to. It's the integrity of the story, dog. I don't think. I don't think that was Stone. No, but it's because. I think Stone, Stone Cold. I think Stone Cold. Me personally, I think Stone Cold only do what the fuck Stone Cold wants to fuck. That's yeah. the only fucking restaurant. I, don't think I think he don't yeah. give a fuck about what the fuck WWE got. If, if I want to make beer, bitch, I'm making beer. And yeah. if y'all want to put in on this, then I'm gonna put your name. Yeah, I don't think he give a fuck about Stone. I don't think he yeah. give a fuck. But see, but think about it is in a way because all that beer and shit is off. The character that he portrayed in wrestling, yeah. so wrestling still associated with him. So it would have made sense for him to come up to the ring. <laughs> wait, what? Yeah. Wait, 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 no, wait, wait. Yeah. I want you to say that again. Wait, no, 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 I'm doing. He's he doing about, Steiner math. No, no, Go ahead. No, no. <laughs> Do it. Like, come on. You talking about how Stone Cold is making the beer? Uh huh. That's the character, right? Yeah. Stone Cold in the beer, right? right. So that still has some rest, to wrestling influence. Have wrestling right? influence, okay? Right. So by him doing that, that's how he can stay away from wrestling to do that. He had that wrestling character. Wrestling drinks beer. Yeah, okay. he he did. I mean, he was drinking beer before he was a character. No, but the, sure. but the character and it's not got, called Stone Cold. It's called Steve Austin. When he was uh, as a wrestler. Okay, I get it. Even, even though you move, we even know, though we don't know Steve Williams. We still we we know Steve Austin. We know Steve Austin. But 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 it's, but it's not Austin. called Stone Cold. It's called Broken Skull Beer. It has nothing to do. But with. they got Steve Austin on it. Hold yeah. On, hold on. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? If if Stone Cold never picked up a beer in wrestling, he wouldn't have that business. But would he still be making beer? Possibly. Hulk Hogan <laughs> never picked up a beer, <laughs> but he he got a beer, beer. He got a beer. But he got a yeah. beer business right, right now. Never no, drank no. energy drink. <laughs> still not, just saying. No, whoa. that's not what I'm saying. Like, like, like the reason why Stone Cold you don't have to go to a ring. Why he choosing not to? You think he, his beer is selling? No, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. He don't have to. For that storyline, that storyline didn't make sense for him to come out too. I don't think the storyline has nothing to do with Stone Cold. That's the, that's no, the, but that's why he didn't come out. No, no, no. no what I I'm saying Stone Cold didn't no. come out because the I don't think, that story had nothing to do with him. I don't think Stone Cold gave a fuck about the storyline. I think you think it too deep into Stone if Stone Cold wanted that back, he didn't give a fuck about the storyline. Go down there, do a stunner, and I got a hundred thousand dollars. I'm just saying a number. Yeah, yeah. 
I don't think he's about to say, oh, you know what? That storyline is so trash. I'm no, even though I need this hundred thousand dollars, I'm not going trash, out there. But my placement in that would have made sense. But I don't think Man, that it didn't fucking Undertaker didn't fucking make sense. Cause Undertaker, yo, you know why? Cause Undertaker is a yes nigga to the WWE. Oh my god. Right. Oh, he all go back to oh, okay, yeah. I get what it's saying. Oh, it now I understand. Yeah, it, 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 it's just it go is. back to Undertaker. It just go back but, to hating yo, Undertaker. Yo, any I got you. That shit. I got John you. John Cena. Yo, you got John Cena was no, out there. You got to have Randy Orton in my door. Fucking RKO. What the fuck about Randy? What about John Cena? Never. Yes, man. All right. So, 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 because Stone Cold didn't like, I just want to get it clear. So, because Stone Cold didn't like the storyline that was happening for WrestleMania, that he didn't, it didn't make sense to him. He didn't come down there and get a check because that's the reason. No. The reason why I feel like Stone Cold didn't participate in that storyline, because for him to step in, it didn't make sense to him. Nigga. It didn't make sense. That's why he didn't he didn't take that opportunity. It didn't make sense. So so if Wrestling Rampage said, Hey, Daniel, we're gonna pay you, we're gonna fly you out to Kentucky and pay you twenty five thousand dollars to do a skit of you cutting down a tree it has nothing to do with wrestling or nothing to do with this podcast but they just want to have a funny skit because you funny you telling jokes and you and you cut down a tree for twenty five thousand dollars but it is i mean it it's for me right it's for it's for outside of wrestling it's, it's for me yeah i go do it so what is the difference between stone cold going down there for a bag that doesn't a story that doesn't make sense it's for stone cold it's for him the the money is for him Right for Stone Cold to come out there and, and get that power for the, like for the rest of it, it'd be fine. But Stone Cold, he knows about what makes sense and what what doesn't make sense. That's why he don't say yes to everything that because is, of the storyline. That's the case. Friends, case every single thing he that, don't say yes to everything because the bag is not there. The bag number no, is not guess right. What? You don't think he, he can negotiate what he want to get it? And can you think you think that you Triple think, H? Uh, you anybody think can. Cold? I hate what y'all use that negotiate. Anybody no, can no, negotiate. That's what it is. Exactly. And, and if Triple H can say no. Triple H would say I do it for this amount. Yeah, say no, if he, he no on the offense. You know what? If, if no, no, wait. Offense. If Stone Cold, if Triple H would have said I give you hundred thousand dollars, Stone Cold said no, I want one fifty, and and Triple H said no, I'm gonna stick it with a hundred thousand. And Stone, if Stone Cold so, would have, so that means how important was Stone Cold anyway to come out there? It wasn't. Anybody could have, and it was proven. Anybody could have went out there. No, it, it would have been a bigger pop. But exactly, but anybody could have went out there. That's what I understand. Of course anybody could have went out there. But if the bag is not big enough, you know, and what I'm telling you, it doesn't matter about the storyline. No. the bag is not Triple big H enough, he's not going. Cold. Yeah, you worth something, but you ain't worth that. Yes. So that's why he didn't do it. Yes. That's why he didn't do it. Yes, and not because of a storyline. Yeah. You're, you're asking no, my question. No, make sense, though. No, it don't. It doesn't make sense with Undertaker. It doesn't... It, Exactly. So it the doesn't. Purpose, like, so, them, them oh money. my god! Yeah. No, you talk about the Next money two. and shit. That's the whole thing. No, the money. Not. It's so, the. So he's turning down. No, I'm, we, so example, he's turning for, down a hundred thousand dollars because of a storyline. When story DSNW walked out on with Triple H's thing, did that make sense? Wait, no, say, say no, the fuck it did. No, but they got that free fucking money, and we're like, why the fuck did that happen? Because it happened, and, and we gotta live with that shit. They did it though. They did it because the NWO was coming back to for Sting because of WCW versus no, WWE. No, but how they did it didn't make sense at all. And they got paid, right? And hey, we got to live with the outcome of what occurred with that shit, the bullshit. But are you complaining about what happened with, with Cody as Rose a, and them? As a fan watching it? Yeah. The storyline always had to make I'm sense, especially in, in that big ass main event. That storyline, it gotta make sense. Me out nah, this bro, you, you, it gotta hold make on, sense. Hold on, hold on. Boy. Undertaker did not make sense. All right, shut up. No. Uh, shut the fuck up. Um, I just, I just, I just stunned you. Uh, Let's hear what you got to say. That Look. was Kofi Kingston. I did something. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the problem that I have with what you're saying about Stone Cold, did Stone Cold and Kevin Owens make sense? Are you asking me or him? I'm at anybody. I mean, I'm asking you because I don't want this nigga to go on a rant yet. The Stone Cold and Kevin Owens make sense. They made it make sense. They made it make sense. Yes, yeah, but it didn't make sense, but they made it. Okay, Kevin so Owens un- made it make sense. So Undertaker at this shit, it made, WWE made it make sense when they turned the lights off. Right? Because they did the Phenom and whatever the case. Nigga, we got 
What's the nigga name? What's what's what's, what's the nigga name? John Cena? No, Undertaker name. What's his name? Now? Oh, Mark, Mark Calloway. Calloway. Mark. We got Mark Calloway popping yeah. up in the dark. Exactly. <laughs> in regular ass clothes, not even in the Undertaker costume. Hey, 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 like hey, a regular hey, ass ain't motherfucker. Nobody, ain't nobody tag you. Shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, like that shit didn't but make sense at all. I'm saying, I'm saying, when it comes down to uh, the, this, come down to Stone Cold. You're saying it has to make sense. It does not have to make sense. It has to make, only thing that has to make sense is that Stone Cold want to do it or he don't want to do it. And that's the difference between Stone Cold and other wrestlers. Now, if you said The Rock, The Rock has, it has to make sense for The Rock. Everything has to make sense for The Rock. And if it doesn't make sense for The Rock, he won't do it. Because The Rock's still not a Hall of Famer. The Rock still got shit to Stick going on. He still got a fucking uh, fucking thumb in the game, a foot in the game, a hand in the game, whatever the fuck you want. He's still in the game. Yeah. But when it comes down to Stone Cold, Stone Cold don't give a fuck. I think that's the I think that's the reason why we still love Stone Cold to this day because he don't give a fuck. If he gave a fuck, then we probably wouldn't fucking want we give a fuck about him. <laughs> Tell me somebody Stone Cold coach. Like, I don't know. Nobody. Tell me somebody. But I don't know what he's doing. I don't know that. I, like, you ask me questions. Okay, that. okay. Your you favorite wrestler, wrestler, your favorite wrestler is yeah. Booker T. Yeah. Tell me 10 people that he coached. Nigga, he got you a whole fucking exactly, so nigga. shut the fuck like, up. I don't exactly. understand where you going with this. <laughs> what what is the matter with Stone, Stone Cold? Cold don't give a fuck about the game no more. He don't care. He like, cares that the bag is right. That. That That's what I'm saying. He cares that the bag is right. You talk about the storyline, bro. Fuck that storyline. If the bag is right, you go do it. Hands down. Don't give a fuck about what's... And the storyline kind of was better because Stone Cold... And, the way it happened was if Stone Cold would have came out, it would have been Stone Cold Stunner and The Rock, which yeah. is the... It was a, a better meaning of Stone Cold coming out than The Undertaker. So it kind of did make sense. Stone Cold just told... I'm telling you, Stone Cold said he wasn't enough. It was around everywhere. Stone Cold said the bag wasn't big enough. That was it. If the bag was, if Triple H would have gave him a bigger bag, Vince would have given him a bigger bag. But then we were dealing with TKO. Mm-hmm. TKO is not about to be like, oh, yeah, let me push out another whatever he was acting for. No, nigga called Undertaker. He'll do it. Like, that's what I said. Get a nigga 5,000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is TKO. This is, the, yeah, this is not Vince McMahon era. This is the yeah. TKO. Niggas is like, nigga, we're not paying that nigga to, for a glass break and a pop, nigga, extra 100,000, whatever he asked for. Fuck out of here. Paid the and and on the other boy. end, Fucking Stone Cold is at home like, I didn't need your money anyway, nigga. Bitch, I'm rich. I mean to sell it, yeah. motherfucker. Nigga, I still <laughs> I it. And I'm still getting a check off that fucking 316. Yeah, like, so. uh, the, neither part was tripping. I mean, everybody think. bought a 316 shirt sure bought 10 more. <laughs> but everybody did think that, nigga. The one thing I do like about Stone Cold, like you said, he don't give a fuck. So when he do come back and that glass break is going to be crazy. I think we getting too much when The Rock came back before the final boss shit that he turned heel. I think it was getting too much of The Rock. The Rock was coming like every fucking See, now, week and a half or some shit. It was the Rock, the rock, the rock. Get a, the rock gonna be 85 years old sitting and getting that same pop. It's just something about The Rock where people just infatuated with, dog. I don't know yeah, but it. if you don't see a part like Stone Cold, if Stone Cold glass break on Raw, nigga, niggas going crazy because you haven't seen Stone Cold yeah. since the Kevin Owens shit. Well, the, what The Rock is, you still, everybody, like, I don't know if y'all believe it. I believe it. The Rock would probably really run for president one day. Real talk. He said he wouldn't. He but. said he wouldn't, but everything else did too. I, mean, he he I don't think he wants to because yeah, we different. don't know. It could be some shit about the rock that we don't want to know about. No, I get you. All that shit. But the fact that his popularity is so his huge. Ca- his campaigning and everything. But see, that's what's wrong with America. They just letting anybody be a yeah. fucking president. Yeah. Yeah. But the Rock don't know shit case. about no goddamn that's fucking what presidency. That's what I'm, I'm saying. saying. I'm, I'm running for city council. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. See? The Rock will be like, it's your smell. <laughs> no, nigga. We need fucking taxes. Well, we got nigga. fucking, we had fucking uh, the other nigga that was in wrestling as a governor. Uh, 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 Jesse Ventura. Jesse did. We had owner sports and nigga. Niggas just be. Nigga, nigga, nigga. Put nigga. a hat, Then we nigga. got Kane, nigga. Kane. Niggas just Kane run. is a blown shit up. Niggas just running for shit, anything. Kevin Johnson. Yeah. Niggas be like, what about your face? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what happened to your face? <laughs> Dominic Mysterio says he wants a stronger WWE title run than Rey Mysterio. I can see that. If he's a heel. Depends when he get it. RVD, hopefully, to, uh, 
RVD hopefully, hopefully, uh, RVD, RVD, <laughs> what the RVD, <laughs> this fucking alcohol, so. RVD, RVD, <laughs> hopes for WWE to bring him um, back for uh, John Cena rematch for his. Um, his retirement tour. Nobody gives a fuck about you. Um, cut the shit real fast. <laughs> cut the shit, RVD. <laughs> I'm cutting the shit on Tony Khan. This nigga Tony Khan said oh, that. God. No, no, this nigga said that Edge, aka Adam <laughs> Copeland, <laughs> AEW right that was better. His career. That was literally my cut the shit. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga. That was the craziest shit. I heard. The sh- like what? Like this nigga must have never watched <laughs> Edge shit. Yeah. Like, like, Nigga. Bro, Edge came in for like what three months and got hurt. Like, yeah. how is that the greatest run? I'm that like Tony that broke his leg. That wasn't better than his bro run. Like, hey, this nigga out. Tony just he, this nigga's a troll. That, that nigga just be saying shit, troll, bro. Troll, munchkin, and everything. <laughs> that nigga just That's be throwing shit. But yeah. since you stole my motherfucking cut of shit, my bad. <laughs> you stole that mo. My cut of shit going to Mercedes Monet. What Ooh, shit, Auntie? You call her T T T T. TT. And you're only getting that because of uh, Mary J. Blige being Miss Monet. <laughs> so, Miss Monet, check this out. Don't know how to give a fuck about you being at the NBA Summer League in fucking Vegas with two belts. I think uh, Tommy posted. Tommy, Nobody uh, give a fuck yeah, about that shit. I didn't even know she was there. Yeah, I seen Tommy was, posted. Exactly. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> she walking around with two belts. Two belts, no security. Nobody gives a fuck. Angel Reese is there with Jalen Brown and his girlfriend. We care about that. We care about LeBron popping up to see the show. We don't give a fuck about you being in Vegas with these two dumbass belts that don't nobody know what the fuck they mean. TBS, what's that mean? Uh, uh, teaspoon department? I don't <laughs> fucking know. Tablespoon? Like, I'm sorry. Normally, I'm with you, Miss Mercedes Monet. I'm with you, Auntie. But, T.T., that strut that you did, it was a sexy strut, but it looked this stupid as fuck with two, two belts on both of your shoulders. She only popped it, like, when it comes to NBA, she, like, when, they, when Boston, because she's from Boston, so when they had the finals, people knew her, because she's from Boston. She should have yeah, been if, sitting there with Angel Reese and, and, and Jalen Brown. They would have been like, who is this bitch? <laughs> I'm just saying, nigga, you, you literally, the Boston MVP of the finals is there with two bad ones. He's there with the two baddest, the baddest of the bad. <laughs> he is there. He is him. You should have been sitting next to him and made the motherfucker fortune. She probably feel like she bigger than him. And that's why she getting donkey on the fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> she is the that, highest paid female wrestler. Fuck, huh? Yeah, the nigga, highest paid not walk with no security. Get the fuck out of here. There's nobody know who the fuck you is. He's too stupid. How you know? She probably had Trump security. I know, cause I see the wire. <laughs> right she walking like I'm. I, I fuck. I, I love. No hate on Mercedes. I love Mercedes. I've been defending Mercedes since she left and everything else. Me too. But, but no, you fucking <laughs> asshole. Fuck fucking can't stand your black ass. Me too. You fucking bandwagon her. But this bandwagon her. <laughs> this shit right here. You was, bandwagon on Liv. I think Liv got some good coochie. <laughs> But this shit right here, like Mercedes, that ain't it. That ain't it. Twin. Y'all cut this shit. My cut the shit is going to the white six. I'm not convinced on this whole white six storyline. And if I might be premature by saying this shit, but I feel like they they lost it after their own debut. Uh, the VHS video seemed like, you know, it has some some sentiment to it, which is cool. But as far as what they're building to, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. I don't know what it's going to lead to and if it's going to be something that we care about. Mm. So I'm cutting the shit, but I could be premature with this shit, but I'm going to stand on it right now. So Y6, cut the shit. Can I add to yours? I mean, you just said you was going to, nigga, so go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> don't double cut the shit to the Pac McAfee show. Because them niggas is in their studio, and they having an interview, <laughs> and 
is uh, is it? Oh my God, it's a blackout. Oh yeah, I said. Oh, yeah. oh my God, <laughs> he just walked right what next door. And he walks forward into a whole <laughs> fucking basketball court <laughs> and pick up a box. And the dude on the interview like, "Oh my God, what is that? Is that one of them boxing tapes? <laughs> like that shit was corny, no, bro." Like, so first he says, "He says is that a VHS tape, and he didn't even put the tape out yet." Yeah, like you already ruined the shit. Yeah. <laughs> God, damn, like bro, like. I'm adding yeah. on to that white yeah. shit because yeah. that shit was corny, but see, but that, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Is like you, you can't make those type of mistakes. You, you, you gotta say this shit gotta be very like. And them niggas are getting a bag because they Pat McAfee got them into the 2K game, which is stupid as fuck. Yeah, like they're no downloadable one? characters. For real? Yeah, next. Well, not no, they're not no, out yet. His his people. Yeah, his people. Is. His people are in the 2K um uh, in the wrestling game. Oh, shout out to all of them. You know, for sure. I, I fuck with that, though. I, I, Logan Paul ain't do that. Yeah, yeah I don't see uh, Speed and all the motherfuckers no, on fucking that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. now, I, don't get me wrong. I don't knock that. Like, I just knocked the corner. No, I'm saying that for them to get it back from WWE, you got to yeah. be more on your shit. Like, yeah. yeah. You got you to gotta, you gotta be able to be like, oh, my God. Like, yeah. gotta, think about this. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why six <laughs> been here for what? Like, what, three weeks now? Oh, my so you got five people in the stable. When or if do they compete in a match? No. And we're talking about these motherfuckers have been competing in probably over a year plus. Dexter Loomis haven't competed. Competed. Nikki Cross haven't competed. Bo Dallas haven't competed longer than that. Remember, we didn't think that motherfucker was even coming back. I right, me ask you a question. Do you think if they switch Nikki Cross out at the last minute, would you be mad? Yeah. But yeah. but if they, if they, <laughs> now, so they already started, yeah. If they if they replaced her with Alexa Bliss, then no. I wouldn't be mad. I'd still be mad. No, like, I'm just saying, if they, if they switch Because Alexa around. Bliss seems like she has she has more credibility in, in that than fucking Nikki Cross. But Alexa Bliss got that like that shutdown credit. But because she if, she she does she be the one that anti if Nikki if, if Nikki Cross is portraying that sister Abigail, that's fucked up. I'm she not gonna be trying to No, because that person would be appointed to fucking uh uh, Alexa, because she was like on, on that shit. No, but nigga, she left. She had, was on when she she left. didn't leave. She got pregnant, nigga. She left, though. She didn't leave, nigga. nigga. She, had, she had to bust one out. She crazy. still left. This nigga said, nigga, she had to bust one out, nigga. Like, she, but did she leave or did she, was she still on the TV? Nigga, God her, damn, her nigga. Her titties was sagging. Her belly got bigger. All right, she left. No, nigga, she got when fucked. So, when somebody leave, you can somebody take your place. No, nigga, no, nigga. nigga we need to, we need to nigga, continue. She was ovulating, then she got fucked, nigga got pregnant, and then she got pushed her shit out. She, she being the mama. I yeah, ain't getting paid while you're sitting at home. But so we supposed to hold this fucking character until you come back? I mean, I think Nikki Cross could be a place holder. Another, another character. No, I think Nikki Cross will be a. Will, I don't think we need. I don't want Alexa Bliss is way better than just that character. No, definitely, definitely. That's what I'm saying. So we don't need her as that character. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, we leave it to. I agree. Nikki Cross needs that. She didn't have shit. Like, well, she had something. Remember, she nobody doing, was looking at remember Nikki this Cross. Shit? Yeah, that shit was trash. But it didn't go nowhere. Exactly. But what, it could have. If, if Alexa Bliss come back, she has a way better. She has a. Huh? This thing with this, it could have shit. It irritates me. It's it didn't. It didn't, nigga. We had two, two fucking years of it not doing nothing. Yeah, so well, what I'm saying is Alexa Bliss has a better chance coming back and being a star than Nikki Cross. So let Nikki well, Cross Well, yeah, because her anticipation of, of return is bigger yeah. than Nikki Cross. Yeah. So why would you take Nikki Cross out of there when she got something doing to go but back to my doing thing staring is, shit? Yo, yeah. And she's a better sister Abigail than, than um, Alexa Bliss. I don't... Well, Alexa if, Bliss was if good. That, if that's the character, then okay, because she ain't got to do shit just to get away a fucking box. No, I, I, don't think think, I don't think she's sister Abigail, though. No, nah, I don't think... Yeah, I hope not. I don't think she's. I don't think. I don't yeah, I think that character's dead. I think since Abra gone, I think I think Nikki Gross is, but, a, is another fucking zombie bitch. But that's yeah. Um, I'm giving my flowers to Roxanne Perez. Ooh, Roxanne Perez has been doing a hell of a job of NXT being the champion. Yeah, uh, I got to give my flowers to her. I've been actually watching her promos, going back watching her promos, and her <laughs> development. Because when yeah. she first came, we thought we'd do some skinny ass young shit, ain't uh, doing shit. But she progressively grown into this dominated figure. And Booger T trained her too. And that, you know, shout out to Booger T five times.